We are on the Mount Sicker property at the 911 showing, and we are tr doing some test pitting and trenching. This area here is a quartz vein underneath your mineralized area. So we're trenching this out. We've cleared off a lot of material out of here, and we're pulling out samples from here. You can see the quartz, and this is the initial couple samples. You have a silicified schist and quartz veining. You can see the calcopyrite, big chunks of it all over this. Pyrite, calcopyrite in quartz. This is the latest one I just pulled off. And this is all calcopyrite right in here. So we're just punching into the side of the vein it looks like, or the top of the vein. But you have mineralization from over here to about over here, which is disseminated and stringer mineralization. And you have massive sulfides and semi-massive sulfides down below here. And that's what we're trying to get a sample of today. So we're clearing off as much as we can down on the bedrock to try and get a nice beautiful sample of the quartz. Here is some of the mineralized quartz we're pulling out. Very, very nice indeed. This big hunk here. We're gonna try and get out a bunch more from this. Where I'm working is two meters away from where J2's working and he's pulling out similar samples as I am. So, you can see the mineralized vein chunks. Still some solidified schist in there. Take a look at this one I just pulled out from here. This is all quartz with sulfides. Very, very nice. We've moved all this material here, all this material here, all that. Probably moved a good three to four tons worth of material today. These chunks here are all quartz with sulfides. For instance, Typical sample from a quartz vein, pyrite with calcopyrite. What it looks like is we're just scratching the surface here. I pulled about a meter width of samples of quartz off there. J2's pulled about a meter of samples out of here. And these are probably the best areas that we've, we've sampled. So we're just scratching the surface of what it looks like a large quartz vein. So all this mineralization on top is mineralized, but to a lesser extent. Nonetheless, it's still mineralized. Like this sample here. This is all material from above that we pulled off up here. And there's still a large amount of calcopyrite in it. But what I wanted to do is take a look at some of the samples. You have areas where there's massive sulfides and this is usually surrounding the quartz.
and you have lots of thick stringers of massive calcopyrite. And this is some of the surrounding rock surrounding the quartz veins. There's still some quartz in here, but you're not into the solid quartz until you get down into the ditch farther. Here's some of the quartz samples. Again, all these contain pyrite and calcopyrite. Occasionally you see some bornite in there. Got some big chunks here. And an even bigger chunk here. So we've trenched one spot, two spots, three spots here, and four up there to the bedrock. And we found four quartz veins, the smallest is about 75 centimeters, which is down farther, about 50 meters past this culvert, running down the hillside like this. And it's incompletely exposed because of the road is over top of it, so it could be wider. And then this one here, uh, we've actually sampled this over 4.4 meters, but we are still not sure if this is one giant vein or these are separate veins, but there is mineralization in between all throughout. So that's the video. We got lots of good samples today. Cheers.